everybody, I'm Mallory. I'm Rob. And I'm Ellen. And we work in the medical department for Nutricia, the makers of KetoCal. And we have lots of different KetoCal recipes for the ketogenic diet that you can find on our website, myketocal.com. And one of the most popular ones is the cheese pizza recipe, which we're going to show you how to make today. So if you go to the myketocal.com website, you'll see that there are two recipes for the KetoCal pizza. One of them uses the KetoCal 3 to 1 powder, and the other uses a KetoCal 4 to 1 powder. So make sure you use the recipe that's appropriate for your child's ketogenic diet, and check with the ketogenic dietitian in case there are any tweaks that they need to make to the recipe to be appropriate for your child's ketogenic ratio or calorie needs. Now you might think that the KetoCal 4 to 1 powder, since it's vanilla flavored, would be an odd fit for this recipe, but it actually works really well. To make our 4 to 1 KetoCal cheese and tomato pizza, the ingredients that you will need are KetoCal 4 to 1 powder, olive oil, sun-dried tomato puree, canned diced tomatoes, garlic paste, cheddar cheese, raw eggs that we have mixed well, and water. First to start, we're going to need to mix the water, olive oil, KetoCal, and eggs together. So we are using our silicone spatula to make sure we get all of the ingredients out. Start pre-mixing here. And then once we get it all mixed together really well, we're going to spread it out to make our crust onto the parchment paper. Again, you want to make sure you get every last bit of it out of this container. And spread it into about a six inch circle on the parchment paper. Okay, so now that we have our crust ready, we'll move on to the toppings. So to make the sauce, we're gonna mix our garlic puree with our canned diced tomatoes and the sun-dried tomato puree. And again, you wanna use your spatula to make sure you get every little bit out. Uh, mix that together. Then we're going to spread that out over the crust. You can kind of use your spatula to make sure it's somewhat even, it doesn't have to be exact. Okay, and then last, we'll top it with our cheese. Again, you can use your spatula to make sure you get everything out. All right, we've heat, re preheated the oven to four, 325 degrees. So we'll go ahead and put this in. Now, generally, uh, we suggest a baking time of between 10 and 20 minutes. That's because ovens can vary considerably. So we're going to keep an eye on it. And when it reaches a nice golden brown, that's when it's done. Um, now, once you take it out of the oven, you want to let it cool. And then it's ready to eat. And the nice thing with this recipe is that you can actually make it in batches, uh, put layers of wax paper between the pizzas, and freeze them so that you have them ready to go when you're ready for them. And it's been about 20 minutes now, so our pizza should be finished. And when it is, this is what it's going to look like. You have a perfect kid-sized pizza. The Kita Cow really helps add texture to the crust, and so kids actually really enjoy the flavor of it. Thank you for cooking our 4 to 1 ketogenic cheese pizza with us today. We hope this recipe is a big hit in your house. You can find the recipe and others on our website, www.myketocal.com. If you have any questions, you can call our nutrition services department at 1-800-365-7354.